Welcome back to the Real Estate News. Joining me now is Daniela Squicoro with Engel & Volker. So welcome, Daniela. We're thrilled to have you with us today. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here today. So you've got some exciting news. We've, we've had some major changes since the last time you joined us. So fill yes. us in on, on what's been happening with you. So you actually just hit on it a little bit. Yeah. Um, I recently switched companies after a long deliberation and moved to the international brand, which has a fairly recent presence in our market. Uh, which is Engel and Folkers, which will be uh, present in the Hilton Head and Bluffton markets. Um, and then there's one in Savannah as well, so they've actually expanded oh, wow. um, throughout the low country, so it's very exciting. But our segment is Hilton Head. We've got one office at uh, 800 Main Street, that's mm -hmm. our central or really north location office, that's our main. Then we have uh, the brand new office on New Orleans, which is our South Island location. And then we have my central location, which is at Six Promenade in Old Town. And we just cut the ribbon on that on Thursday, so I'm very, very excited to be there. What's the significance of having an international presence, do you think? Well, it's not only having an, an international presence, but it's having an international presence that is well established, yes. and credible, and okay. competent, and beautiful, and all the things that you need to be able to satisfy the desires and needs of uh, the luxury clientele, whether it's in your own backyard or from around the world. Okay. So Engel & Volkers has existed for nearing on 40 years now, started in Hamburg, Germany, uh, expanded from there into Spain, and then from there the rest is history. So we are greatly expanding in the North American market right now with our headquarters in New York City. Mm -hmm. And we have the unique ability in this market to satisfy the desires, not only residential, but uh, commercial property management wise. We also have aviation, yachting, and even a castles division in wow. Europe. So it's a really fascinating and exciting brand to be part of. Um, now, you know, obviously we've talked a lot over the last several months um, about Hurricane Matthew, but, but what's your take on what's happening with the market now? Because it, it seems like we're, mm -hmm. we're over the hump of it. You know, what do you see happening? Well, you know, it was an unfortunate event mm -hmm. that uh, it happens. And right. when you live in a place like this, there is no such thing as a hurricane risk-free right. coastal zone. It's impossible. Um, we tend to be a little bit less of a risk because of the way that we're situated. Mm -hmm. um, but as we can see with Matthew, we've proven that that, that certainly can happen. So um, the surprising thing, I think, is that a lot of people were expecting a huge market downturn. Right. Um, even just in, you know, maybe the midterm, two, three months, something like that. We really haven't seen that. And I think with the influx of speculative investors mm -hmm. um, as buyers looking for things that they can fix up or flip or rent or something like that, they're actually filling another gap. But, you know, in our market, um, there are three main drivers in our market, and okay. none of those have changed based on Matthew, and they are demographics. We have both millennials and baby boomers, which are two massive, yes. massive groups coming in. Um, low interest rates, which of course are going up and have recently gone up, so mm -hmm. that's another reason to consider buying now, and I think that's a reason why a lot of people are. Sure. And we're in a desirable location. We are in a worldwide vacation destination, yes. and that's never going to change. No, I agree and well said. So, Daniela, as always, thank you so much for being with us and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you very much.